Here we are in Laurel Canyon, home of so many great musicians in the past. Someday I'll live up to that level. Come on in. Okay, I'm Alan Hines. I'm a teacher at Musicians Institute. I do open counseling there. I do a lot of live work. I do a lot of tours of different bands. I do some uh, demos. I write some songs for a couple TV things here and there and a couple different artists, uh, as well as I'm working on my own stuff. So hopefully someday I can say I'm a recording artist. Um, but right now I do mostly uh, tours and sessions around Los Angeles. Um, I'm playing through this a stock Stratocaster. I think it's actually a Japanese Strat. Uh, nothing that fancy about it. It's Seymour Duncan pickups. I think I have a Kinman pickup on the bridge. That's pretty much it. And besides that, I'm just playing right into the RC booster, then into the AC booster because that's the way I like to like them to be in, in line. And then right into an old um, 1970 Deluxe Reverb. And the sound is pretty, it's pretty happy. I've always been a big fan of the Fender sound, which is this. By itself, it's just the Fender amp with the guitar itself. Fender. And the RC booster, which is the white pedal, gives me just a bit of grit, which thickens out the sound and for rhythm parts it cuts through and it just feels great. You know, to me, a good pedal, a good pedal, there's a fine line of sounding too buzzy and a pedal's feeling really well. It seems like most pedals, when you get them to feel good, it's too buzzy. You know, buzzy I mean kind of raspy and kind of a harsh edge. And when you back down to get a good sound, you lose the feel. And these pedals seem to feel good wherever you set them. And I mean that. I actually was playing these pedals before you guys, you guys came to a club and saw me playing, so believe me, they work great. And here's the difference. Here's one. Let me turn on a little drum groove so we can get it. Here's the, the amp straight with no RC boost. Get in for uh, just for like, like a clean Hendrixy type of tone uh, for a solo on the front pickup that kind of it just seems to bring it out. And it's real sensitive to the pick, uh, to your fingers too. I think if you play through it, the first thing you'll notice is that you can back off with the intensity of your fingers or pick, and you can really hear it. You can it just sounds real natural. It sounds like you're playing through an amplifier as opposed to a lot of pedals which just sound real raspy. Um, I use, actually with a Stratocaster, I use, if I want a solo tone, I use both pedals on at once. Because this one is nice with the kind of, the Hendrixy kind of clean bluesy. But I like it a little over the top. And I do that, I come from the Dwayne Allman uh, school of thinking, I believe, where I use my treble pickup and just back down the, the high end. So you can get all those nice harmonics that your fingers get naturally. And when I put both pedals together, it gets more of that kind of thing. Still very musical. 